brilliant. Um, and um, reading really is the key that is going to unlock so many doors for all of your children. Being a bookish reader is really what we want to achieve here at Harris Garrard. It's the first thing we take into consideration when we're planning for the school, planning for the future of the school, is how best can we help our children learn to read. Um, and here's just a little picture. Learning to read is like a, it's a puzzle. There's lots and lots of pieces of the puzzle that have to come together. And you, the parents, are one of those important, probably more than one puzzle piece. Your children are lots and lots of their parents. Um, but you are a really crucial puzzle piece of teaching your children how to read. So, um, how do we teach your children how to, how to read? If you've been here for a few years, you'll know that we teach in reception year one and two. We teach for our phonics schemes, uh, which is read writing, where um, the children will have book bag books and such. But once they get to year two and above, they come on to a program called AR. Uh, which stands for Accelerated Reader. I'm just going to talk you through a little bit what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to explain briefly how what it looks like, and then I'm going to give you a little tool which you can take away, which will help you um, really understand how your children are getting on in school. So, this looks very, very complicated. I'm going to explain it, and there's a much simpler way to explain it. But how does AR work? Basically, at certain points in the year, your children will do something that is called a Star Reader Test. That test is a computer-based test, I think it's 30 questions, Mrs. Yes, it is. 30 questions. And um, from that computer test, your children will basically get a reading score. It will tell us your, your child's reading age, and it will tell, tell us what books are most appropriate for them to read. And we do that at, um, at different points in the year through each of the different terms, so then we can update them and we can track their progress. As well as that, alongside that, we have our Accelerated Reader Program. Now, uh, here's a star reader test, 34 questions actually, um, and it's computer adapted technology, sounds really fancy. Basically means if you get one right, you get a harder question, if you get one wrong, you get an easier question. So it works. Now, every week, um, from that you get your reading age and your ZPD score. From that, your children will get an AR uh, ZPD score. So if you look in the front of their books, their lovely AR books, you'll see they've got a little score. That ranges from 0.2 all the way up to 13.5. 13.5 is extremely challenging, um, but that's, that's the range. And there's different levels, there'll be different book bands, so CJ's got a book there, so he can look in the front, and he'll be able to see what book level he's got there. Um, yes, and then every week, your children will then read that every night, they will then, at some point in the week, they go to our lovely library downstairs, and they will do a quiz on our iPads, and that quiz really, it's not really to check, check their comprehension or to check their vocabulary understanding, it's to check that they've actually read it at home and how well they've understood, uh, understood it at home. That's what, that, uh, that's what it does for us. Here's uh, some little snippets that I saw on the internet, it was quite interesting. It said, Mr. Ben, books are harder to read than Roald Dahl, and study finds that Mr. Greedy rivals Grapes of Wrath in reading complex, uh, complexity. If you look, some of our books are, are short books, but they have a really high, uh, high number, and that is to do with the vocab that's in the book, and, um, yeah, the understanding, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And some of them are even level five books. So you think, oh my goodness, that's such an easy book for my child. But actually it's dealing with more complex themes, more difficult storylines, that sort of thing. And we don't want to put children off taking more challenging books because we want to encourage them to take a book that's appropriate to their level. Yeah, okay. So, uh, here's a little snippet. These were the most popular books actually last year on AR. Just quickly, uh, they were pop star books, Alien, Love, Underpants, Norman. These are the most uh, popular uh, authors that are currently on our AR scheme. Jeff Kinney, uh, David Walliams, Julia Donaldson, uh, Roderick Hunt, and Roald Dahl. So they're the types of books that we know our children love to read. We want to take home. So every week, and I'm going to show you the programme that you can sign up to in a second, every week your child will get a percentage score. And that percentage score basically is how well they've understood the book they've read. If they're scoring 100%, it means uh, the book was really, really comfortable, possibly too too easy, and then next week we'll give them a slightly harder book. 90%, between 80 and 90% is what we want your children to be scoring. That's, that's probably the perfect score for you to get. It's challenging enough that you're not scoring 100%, it's too easy, but um, it's not too difficult, you're not finding it too hard. Any lower than that, so any lower than 80%, it's either that you've not read the book enough, or that it's too challenging, so you have to get a slightly easier book. Um, next week. How do we celebrate reading at school? We've got our lovely library, uh, which does need a bit of a refurb at the moment, but that's what it will look like. Um, <laughs> every, every class also has a, uh, a reach for the stars where the children will get to celebrate and move their names up and down. But, um, 
based on how well they do. And then every week in celebration assembly, I'm sure your children will come home. If, you're, if they, their class ever win it, um, I know um, my class won it a couple of weeks ago, my class was absolutely buzzing about it. I'm sure they'll come home and tell you. Um, but that's basically what we want. We've got a, a huge kind of competition in the school to see which class is getting the highest scores. That's how we celebrate it. That means so far this week, we're only into week five or six, but we've already read as a school uh, 468 books and close to 4 million words um, between us as a whole school. So it's really, really working. We're seeing that um, it's having a huge impact in school, in the reading of the school, in the culture of the school and everything. But the one thing that we need now is for all of our parents at home uh, to be getting signed up to uh, and getting involved with it as well. That's the stage we're at. Um, yes, but we need your help. Like I said, we're aiming for over 80% uh, in our scores. But at the moment, only 50% of our children are scoring over that 80% mark. So that's why we need your help at home. How can you help at home? Ask them every week about their book. Make sure they're reading. I always say for at least 20 minutes a night, aim for get your children reading at home. Ask them about their book. Who's the author of the story? Who are the character? Who's the protagonist? Is a book fiction or non-fiction? Just get them to explain and summarise what has gone on in that text, and that's really going to help. Uh, yes, yeah, so allocate 20 to 20 minutes to half an hour. I know evenings are very busy sometimes, got young children at home, but uh, let's make it work. How can uh, we help with this? You should have had this letter go home, and what I'm going to do at the end of the session is I'm going to anyone who's here, I'm going to sign you up to our Home Connect. Um, our Home Connect uh, system. So every week you will get an email, and this email will tell you exactly um, what your child has scored on the test, how well they've done, what they need to improve, and yeah, basically how they're doing. So that's my aim really from this session. Um, any questions now, and then I'll help you sign up. Or if there's any questions afterwards, just come and find me. Um, but my, myself and Mrs. Woods are going to be about. So if you, if you could please, if you're not already, I know a few of you, obviously familiar faces at the back, I've already signed up. Um, if you're already signed up to our AR system and you've got no questions, then you're free to leave. If not, uh, it'd be good if we could sign you up. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Victor. You've got anything to add?